What's good ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, I'm Lotus Hustle the one who never knows best, and in today's video bringing you some more Dragon Ball Fighters rank matches, and I'm playing the 18 base Vegeta and Future Trunks, I don't know why I said Future Trunks, I usually just call them Trunks, but the 18 Vegeta Trunks team, because 1, I'm having a ton of fun with this team, 2, I'm still in Character Crisis, I'm not sure what team I actually want to main in Season 3, and 3, and most importantly, I've finally, <laughs> after a year and a half, learned how to do base Vegeta's 5H loops in the corner. So that's the goal of today's video is to literally pull off those loops with base Vegeta because for so long I couldn't do them. It was just so hard to me. I just, I don't know, there's so many other combos I can do in the game and I know I, I said recently in a video, you know, combos and fighters are easy. Listen, obviously not every combo in the game is easy. Obviously some of the optimal stuff is a little uh, more difficult and, you know, not as easy to perform, but in general I feel like the combos in fighters are easy. Uh, at least like the universal stuff that can be applied to the majority of characters. But yeah, I always thought Base Vegeta was a really sick and really fun character, but the main reason why I didn't play him uh, was honestly just because I couldn't do his loops, and I was one of those people who was, who just felt like, you know, if I can't do the loops, then what's really the point in playing the character? Because like it's kind of like one of the best things he has going for him. And uh, since I couldn't be a little more optimal with the character, I was like, mm, I guess I won't play him. And that even with that being said, uh, a little bit in Season 2, but for a while in Season 2, I actually did think about maining the character when I was considering dropping Android 18 when I was really unhappy with the changes for for her uh, last patch. But, um, I don't know. I ended up just going back to 18. I had a lot of fun with the character. I thought he was really fun. I thought he was really good. And then that was further evidence when Sonic Fox picked him up and showcased what he was capable of against Goichi. And I let that 6 hit me. Oh, forgot that's a low. I tried to backdash there, so it's not even like I stood up. I tried to, like, get out of the way, but I just got caught anyway. Um, but yeah, like, you know, I think... <laughs> Wait. Wait. Aw. I'm trash. <laughs> I can do him, but I don't have him consistently yet. Like, it's, it's, I'm still... I practiced it a lot in training mode, but pulling it off in a match is a completely different thing. Um, but yeah, the character is really strong, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot... I should have seen that coming. A lot of base Vegeta... Uh, this season just because I do think he might he might don't don't you know what I'm saying don't don't quote me on this you know just my opinion but he might be the best character in the game right now I, I I still think it's too early to really talk about tiers and placements and stuff but he was already strong last season and he just got stronger and some of the characters that were above him got weaker I mean it could very well still be Kid Buu that's who I thought was the best character last season and uh Kid Buu is kind of like unkillable no matter how many times they've nerfed him he's remained uh top tier through and through and so it still might be the case it probably is still the case to be honest but uh, base Vegeta is looking really, really strong. We're also looking strong in this match right now. Also looking strong. Cooler is actually a character I struggle with a lot. Um, I think he's also really, really good, and I would, I would think that we should see more of him this season, uh, just because of how good I think he is. But I don't know, man. I feel like last season he was the most underrated character in the game. I truly and genuinely believe that his 3H is the best button in the game. He's got crazy normals. He's capable of damage, uh, putting out good damage. He's got the best dive kick in the game. His medium one is plus on block. I'm a level three, and I didn't get the input. Um, yeah, his his medium dive kick is plus on block. All his dive kicks are overheads. He's got a DP. DP assist itself is also really strong. And there's the the three H, and he's also for some reason able to key blast after that, which is completely unnecessary. And there's that dive kick I was talking about. And look at this damage, by the way. I know limit break is a thing, but good golly gracious, am I dead? I'm not. Raw level three. Raw level three. He DP'd. Hold that. <laughs> Good jump. Good jump. It was a super dash. All right. All right. Serious business time. Serious business. Because we can definitely still lose this match. I kind of goofed off there with the X rocket case with the little neum neums. You feel me? But time to turn it up and close this match out. That's another thing. The dive kick recovers so fast. Um, I meant to key blast there, but I accidentally did a change the future. But like... I, uh, I oftentimes cannot punish that dive kick when people whiff it from full screen. Oh my god. Hold on. <gasps> I didn't have bar. I'm, I'm full. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We clutched it. We clutched it. But yeah, like his dive kick, I feel like it recovers. I don't, don't quote me on this because I don't know for sure, but it feels like it recovers quicker than Goku Black's dive kick because usually when a Goku Black dive kick dive kicks out of the corner, I can key blast with pretty much any character and I'm able to punish it. But I feel like with Cooler, more often than not, I'm not actually able to uh, punish it with key blast and then, you know, get a vanish and at least do something for for them getting out of the corner without covering themselves with an assist. Anyway, let's run it back. We didn't manage to pull off the loops in that match, but maybe we'll get a chance this time. Also, I wonder if this guy's got the loops, because he's playing base Vegeta too, but his base Vegeta really didn't get to do much in the last game. Nice conversion by me. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that one, because I'm still kind of trying to get used to the base Vegeta rocket kick assist. I'm still not the best with it, but we're getting used to it. Damn, that had a lot of hit stun. I actually didn't think we'd be able to confirm off that good spark. 
Oh, it's okay. I'll take that. I'll take that all day long. Super dash. Good 2H. Good 2H. He literally sat there and went, oh, loops. Loops. I cannot do. Oh, no. I down teched into my death. I down teched into my death. All right. No, we didn't. He dropped him. Okay. That's what he gets for trying to be optimal, but I respect it. We're going to raw tag the three. Oh, my goodness. Don't snap. That one, I don't think that was worth it. I don't think it was worth it. I saw the Kefla system. Kind of panicked. That, okay. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? We're going to have to rely pretty heavily on base Vegeta here because we've made some pretty big mistakes. Wait, he's dropping it. Okay, so my guy is kind of like me where he's got the loops, but he's just not consistent with him yet. Is it worth it for us to try to get 18 out? Yeah, why not? I mean, she's still, like, the barrier assist is still pretty useful. It can still come in handy. All right, we got his base Vegeta down. You know what? I still like where this is going. I still like where this is going. We're just going to call 18 assist round start and just wait and see what happens. Stop it. Come on now. Stop it. Stop it. Uptake? Yes, sir. I didn't mean to do that. I, I, I don't. Okay, I don't know where this habit came from because I always talk about how other people do this and how like how bad of a habit it is. But all of a sudden now, when I do something I don't mean to, I super dash to like cover myself and I get two H for it. And I, I don't know where that habit came from because I didn't used to do that. And ever since I talked about other people doing it, I noticed myself doing it more, and I'm really not happy with that because it's it's a really bad habit to have. Good for tech. I was hoping for the up tech. Oh, why didn't I get my Vanish there? Yo, what? I'm actually Vanish. Trunks. Keep blast. Stay calm. He's, he'll do something. He'll do something. Nope. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. This is looking good. Cooler, like I said before, still a kicker I kind of struggle with. But uh, I think if I stay calm, I can still do this. He's got no sparking. I still have an assist in the back. I don't have a lot of meter, but oh my god, the buttons. Well, that's base Vegeta dead. Just like that, it doesn't matter. And now he's actually in the lead because he has more bar. And, uh, well, I still have sparking. So, wait. Why didn't you level three? Why didn't I block low? I promise you I'm holding down back on everything. On everything I was holding down back. Oh, uh, this is looking rough. This is looking rough. There's the 3H. That button is so stupidly good. Oh, I'm blocking. I'm blocking. Oh, I struggle so much against this character, bro. I'm telling you, Cooler is sleeper top tier. This character is so dumb. This character is so dumb and nobody plays him. I will say it till I'm blue in the face that this character is super strong. Oh, the key blast. Sick. Sick. Okay, okay. I like where this is going. I still have sparking too. Alright, we're just gonna change we're just gonna immediately change the future and wait for him to do something. Okay, he died. He went up for an up tech into a dive kick. There's the 3H. I should have confirmed off that. Good DP, good DP. I should have seen that coming, but I was, <sighs> where's the 3H? There it is. Okay, okay, okay. We, 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 we were a little nervous there, you know what I'm saying? A little jittery, but we retained our composure and we were able to pull it off. All right, that's 2-0, that's 2-0. We're racking up these points slowly but surely, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make my way up to Pride Trooper, trying to, trying to. Uh, what are we like? 20K, roughly 20K, 20K away. One more time, you got it, you got it. I don't know if he's going to leave after this one, but hopefully we can win this one 3-0. That would be great. Still didn't pull off the loops, by the way. My base Vegeta not really been able to put in the work I want him to. I was behind him. Excuse me? I was legit behind you. Get off me. All right, raw tag. EX kick. I could have gone for loops there, but I, just because of the distance I was at, I wasn't confident in doing it. Sick. Oh, good reflex. I you mashed there, and I allowed it. Okay, that, that's fine. Let's just stay calm. I don't have a lot of meter. Let's just play some neutral. Take throw. Got it. All right, cool, cool, cool. His base Vegeta is gone. Uh, we we'll actually have to get my base Vegeta out of here. Honestly, I could have done EX into command grab into level one, and that would have been enough to kill, and I would have saved half a bar. But you know what? I'm not mad at getting 18 back out in front. Because I'm more confident with with 18 dying than I am with base Vegeta dying. Yeah. Okay, good break on the throw. Yo, hold up. My base Vegeta confirms getting up there. My base Vegeta confirms we're getting up there. We getting up there. Hold this. Are you going to spark here? Yeah. Figured as much. 
I got to be more patient when it comes to people sparking because as I play players, whenever I play a player who I think is good or, or is at least playing solid enough, I expect that they're not going to super dash after sparking because that's the scrub thing they do and that's so easily punished by down tech into 2H. But a lot of people, they just, they just spark, jump, and then super dash. And I need to be more prepared to deal with that. Mashing. That's raw tag. I'm gonna mash again. Good beam. Didn't confirm off of it in time. Okay, okay. Alright, stay calm, call the barrier. I think he tried I think he wanted a 3H there. I'm a rocket kick. Yes sir! Trunks. Boom. I dropped it. It's okay. Call the barrier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know what I should have done there is EX kick. Do I want to spark here? No, I don't. I'm a... No, I'm mashing. And I'm um, base Vegeta's dead. Actually... No, he's gonna level 3. I didn't look at his bar. I didn't look at his bar. Okay, this is looking a little rough, but we still have full health trunks with sparking in the back. Uh, like I said, I, I, I'm less confident with base Vegeta having gone out before 18, but we'll see if we can get it done. As long as I stay calm and stay solid, I can do this. All right, he also went for Key Blast, but I was doing mine first. All right, call the 17. Good reflect. Oh, the cross up didn't conf Oh my God, what a jump heavy. That was insane. That was actually insane. I can't believe, oh, wow. All right, change the future. Okay, I got hit by those, but he didn't confirm it. Where's the command dash? I know you want to do it. <gasps> oh no, what just happened there? What just happened there? Oh, that's tough. That's th don't level three me, please. I'll take this. I'll take this. I didn't reflect, so I got a I got a spark. I didn't delay my tech properly. All right, I sniped the cooler assist at least. I'm a guard cancel because I don't want to risk a tick throw. Oh my god! <sighs> Fuzzy mash saved my life. All right, this is still our game. This is still our game. This is still our game. I still need two touches on cooler though, unless unless I build enough bar to do a level three beforehand. Because limit break will. I'm a super dash. It could be a big mistake, but I'm gonna do it. I messed up. Why did I get a super dash there? I don't understand why that happened. Do something. Do something I can punish. <gasps> no! 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 That button is so stupid. Why? 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 It's. It's so. It has crazy range. Goes through all projectiles. Oh come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's. Let's just. No! 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 <laughs> it oh my god that button is so good this character is so good i panicked i threw it away that's on me but i'm trying to tell y'all why is 3h why does it go through all projectiles why does it recover so quickly why can he key blast after it why do you get full combo off of it why can he super like it's so it's so dumb i truly and genuinely honestly believe that that button is the best button in the game and that button is almost the the sole reason as to why i think this character is so good and why i think he's so uh underrated because like why why and then don't get me started on the dive kicks and the dps and like the dance like i mean i already i already mentioned it all but like goodness gracious man cooler is so strong and i feel like i just don't see him enough 6m there's the reflect thank you um we're gonna go for the ex mix again Yeah, I, I completely messed up what I wanted to do. That, but you just you just toss it out. Literally, you're neutral with cooler. All you have to do is he mashed because he called the assist behind him, and I got hit by the assist. So then he was able to actually get combo off that reflect raw tag. You you just bro three H is just too good. It's just too good. That button is too spam. I tried to two H it and I got counter hit. Come on, bro. Why why why? Delay tech rocket kick. Sick. I did it! I didn't get my dive! What happened? Where was my dive? Are you serious? Oh my god, the assist. Let's raw tag. He 3H'd? I don't think he reacted to that tag. I think he just 3H and was like, you know what? I'm a 2H now. Oh my god, what a confirm. Yo, I cannot fight this character. I struggle so much against Cooler, bro. Why, 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 why? Why is this character so stupid? I mean, I can't really talk. I play 18, Trunks, Base Vegeta, Bardock. Like, all the characters I play are really good, too. So I don't want you... How dare you... How, how can you complain about top tiers or strong characters when you play Bardock, when you play Base Vegeta, when you play... Shut up. 
Okay, just because I play a good character doesn't mean I can't talk about how good other characters are. Y'all make me sick with that, by the way. Don't know where my reflect was, but we'll, we'll mash vanish and get away with it. I'm surprised that the cooler assist didn't go straight through with mine. Because that happens a lot. Yes, sir. Okay, Key Blast Doki. I gotta stay on the ground more. Everybody wants to super dash when they're on Spark. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm glad he spent his Spark, though, because now I feel more confident about pulling this match back. Alright, Kefla's got gone. Not really a character who was putting in too much work for his team. It's really that Cooler. I, I gotta get rid of Cooler. Or I at least gotta get rid of base Vegeta before mine dies. If I can do that, then I'm I'm more a lot more confident. Okay, okay, a little scrambly right now, a little scrambly. I why did I why do I keep doing that? For one, I don't mean the auto combo. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Yes. No, I didn't block! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Anyway, I don't I don't even mean to be doing auto combo there, and then I do, and then I super dash like an idiot. I don't understand why I'm doing that. Because that's such a bad... I lit like... Oh, I'm, I've already talked about it. But that, that's a bad habit I acknowledge about other players. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know why so many people do that. And now I'm doing it. And I don't know where that came from. Because I used to never do that. Uh, you guys are watching me have a mental breakdown live on there. Don't 3H. Even worse. What, was that his 5H? Round start 5H? That's how you feel? Into level 3. <sighs> cool has such super strong spark baits too. Because between dive kick and DP, he can really screw you up. Okay. Okay, we managed to live there. He DP'd. I was waiting for a dive kick. Alright, well, at least be able to put him in a corner here. Um, I'll level three. I just, what do I want to do here? He's got reversal level three. He's got DP. I can't be scared. I gotta go in. Oh my god. Woo! Woo, we clutched it. We clutched it. This, this, this character, bro. Cooler. Hurts my heart. He really hurts my heart. All right, I think that's three one. But you know what? Let's let's run one more. Let's let's run one more. Cause why not? I managed to pull off the loops and then I dropped the ender. Don't know how, but I didn't get my two one for him. I mean, with the Z stamp. <laughs> By the way, you know I so I, I feel the need to bring this up, and I've acknowledged it a couple times already. But so many people just still don't seem to get it. I'm I'm not even gonna proceed with it just because it's more of trouble than it's worth. I don't actually care about people using Z stamps, guys. It's just funny. It's just it's entertainment for the videos. It's entertainment for the stream. Obviously, it's just a game. Obviously, not everybody when they Z-Stamp, they're trying to be disrespectful. But it's funny if somebody hits me with a Z-Stamp after they win, and I'm like, oh, you trying to throw Z-Stamps? I see how that is. And then I go crazy in the match, whatever. And I'm like, you know, just, just talking trash and having fun. Like, it's all good-natured fun. It's all in the spirit of the game. You know what I'm saying? But, like, some people just really think that I'm genuinely just upset and, like, my feelings are hurt when people use Z-Stamps. Good challenge. Good block on the 6 and by me. We're out of there. The assist. That assist actually has decent hit stuns. Probably, like, 60 or 65 frames because they gave every assist so much hit stun this season. Super Dash, I know you want to. Alright, if you want, then I'm... Why would you do that? I dropped it. Okay, that's fine. Alright, we're looking solid so far this match. I, I kind of lost my train of thought when he did that random level 1, so I don't really know what I was saying. What was I saying? Ah, I forgot. I forgot. Oh yeah, the Z-Stem thing. So yeah, I think... I'm probably not even going to like joke around with this, but I don't know, because that's another thing, right? Like, I guess I, I can talk to you guys about this because it's something that's been on my mind. It's hard to take into account when I should take into consideration like the, the vocal minority, because obviously the majority of the feedback I get, I didn't get my raw tag. I could have blocked there or raw tag, and I didn't do either one. Um, the majority of the feedback I get on my videos is obviously overwhelmingly positive. Most of, there's way more likes and dislikes. Um, so it's like it's kind of hard when I do see the negativity or at least like the, the more constructive criticism. It's like, OK. How much of this should I consider and take into account and apply to my content uh, when most people don't have an issue or they do understand, right? Do I do I acknowledge how people feel or how they view some of the things I say that I do and adjust accordingly? Or do I keep what I'm doing because it's been working and most people do understand and uh, it hasn't been, you know, an issue? I can't super I, I screwed up. I screwed up that combo because I was, was thinking. Um, yeah, do I, do I keep doing what I'm doing because it's worked so far and it really hasn't been an issue up to that point? Or do I, uh, you know, adjust accordingly? So it's kind of hard to say, because like, so part of me wants to like not even acknowledge the Z stamps anymore because, that because of the handful of people who were like, why do you get so triggered over Z stamps? That's so stupid. When I, when to me I'm like, it's not me being stupid. You're dumb for thinking I'm taking it seriously. But or do I just keep doing it anyway because people find it funny? Like I don't know. That's just one of the things that's been on my mind. 
Yo, this cooler is just going stupid right now. You know what? Let's level three. Let's level three, because why not? I should have done EX and command grab into into level three, but this is fine. Also, we're gonna try to spark bait. Nah, he just went. He just went in for the DP. So what I was gonna do there was jump heavy, and then once he blocked it, I was gonna EX kick. But he was just like, screw it. I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna go in. Cause what do I have to lose? That's self sparking. All right. I really, realistically, I only need one touch to kill him. Okay, two touches. Next touch, I can kill him. All right, make that three. <laughs> Thank you, Barrier! And I believe that's gonna be four to one, and that should make for a pretty solid video, I would say. Okay, we, we actually managed to rack up a decent amount of points, and I kinda sorta showed that I can do the loops. I screwed it up, but you know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna play more with base Vegeta. I've only got the corner ones off the 5H. I can't do the air ones yet, but I'm gonna practice, because I love this character. I've always thought base Vegeta was sick, and you're probably gonna see him a lot, both on my channel and in competitive, competitive play, because he's gonna be playing, because uh, I think he's gonna be really strong. But anyway, that's going to be today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit this video with like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. So you can stay tuned for all this content I'm bring you. And with all that being said, this much off today. And remember, nothing happens to the bad. Later.